Today we're going to take a look at a new feature in WolfQuest Anniversary Edition. This is our new take on XP and ranks. We call it Age Perks, and we've been working on it for a long time, so let's dig in. In WolfQuest, you start off as a two-year-old wolf, and as far as the game's concerned, you remain a two-year-old wolf for the rest of your life in the game. Of course, that's not how wolves, or anybody really, is in real life. And now, with this new feature that we're finishing up, it's not how it is in the game either. We've been working for three years on and off on uh, a way to represent the arc of a wolf's life in the game. We started off working on a new version of experience points, but we weren't satisfied with that. And, and so we focused more and more on this idea of the arc of a wolf's life. Biologists have been learning a lot about how aging affects wolves, and we wanted to incorporate some of that and have the game portray this arc from young wolf to old wolf. And so here's a design that we had about a year and a half ago. This really shows how we're thinking of the ideas very strongly, young wolf, old wolf. But after a while that felt too arbitrary, and so we kept iterating on it. And so today we're going to share what we finally have ended up with. And so again, it's all about advancing in age, year by year, from youth to maturity or uh, old age. And when do you advance in age? Well, on your birthday. And when's your birthday? Well, just like your pups. You were born in April, and so your birthday is just before the pups are born every spring. So on your birthday, after you choose a den, you'll see this new thing. So it's your birthday and you can choose whether to advance in age. You don't have to. You can remain forever young, a two-year-old wolf for the rest of your life. But there are benefits to growing older. And that's the key concept in age perks. What those benefits are changes with each year of your life. So in your younger years, you can buff your physical attributes, the strength, health, stamina, that kind of thing. And you can also choose from a couple others that stem from youthful vitality and prowess. Each of these perks lasts just for that year of life. When your birthday rolls around again, you can just stay that age, and you can stay that age forever again if you want, and keep those perks that you chose when you advanced that age. Or you can choose to advance another year and choose from a new set of perks. You'll lose the perks you had at that earlier year, and you'll gain three more perks. And so notice how the perks change over the years from vitality of youth and physical attributes to an increasing focus on clout and knowledge. An old wolf has a lot of knowledge about their environment, about their prey animals, about what you can learn from observation or a scent spore. And if you choose to grow older, you'll be able to choose from those benefits, those perks. Now, as you move into your elder years, you'll have fewer perks to choose from. You have six to choose from for the first years, but <laughs> it's fewer as you get older, because that's kind of how life goes. But you can always choose three, and we think these are valuable and interesting, and they enhance the gameplay in various ways. So, again, like Iron Wolf, this isn't for everybody, and a lot of players will probably just choose to stay as probably not a two-year-old, because you advance to age three, and you can get some nice physical perks. But a lot of players aren't going to choose to grow old. But if you do, you'll get access to these other kinds of benefits, these knowledge benefits especially. Now in Yellowstone, in the wild wolves, most wolves don't live a long time. Some only live a year or two, and some not even that, as you know with your pups. Occasionally a wolf will live to be very old, 12 years or so. But mostly by age 6 or 7 or 8. They don't have the strength anymore, and they have a turn of bad luck, and uh, that's the end for them. So we wanted to represent this too, again, only for players who want to do it. But when you're age 7 and your birthday rolls around again, you can choose to advance to age 8. And age 8 is a little different than the others. This really is your final year. First of all, if you advance to age 8, you will lose one point on all your physical attributes. So if you had a plus 2 strength, it'll be plus 1. If you had a zero neutral stamina, it'll be minus 1. Again, to represent the, the aging and the loss of those physical abilities. You'll still have a number of perks to choose from, but once you're age 8, you might run into trouble just in the regular way in the game and uh, get killed by an elk or a bear or something like that. But if you don't, if you hang on and keep plugging along, you will die at some point. The game will intervene and say, this is, this is the end for you, and uh, you'll be able to see a little bit about how you died, which lets us incorporate ways that wolves die in and around Yellowstone that we don't have in the game getting hit by a car, shot by a hunter, and a variety of other ways that wolves have been known to die in Yellowstone. Now you're not guaranteed to die when you're eight, but you're highly likely to 
die at that point, you might eke out a few months as a nine-year-old wolf, but your days are numbered. Also, as an eight-year-old wolf, you will automatically and involuntarily be switched to iron wolf mode, which means that when you die, whether it's through in-game actions or the game deciding that the time is up, that's it. That's the end. And uh, you won't be able to load a save and uh, try that again. So we really like this. Even, I think even for players who don't do it, just the idea of it um, just gives, I think, I hope, some depth and kind of resonance to the idea of a wolf's life in Wolf Quest. And we hope that with one of your wolves, you might try advancing through the years, um, enjoying the different perks of different ages, and then bringing things to a conclusion in that wolf's life. So that is this new age perk system. And we are very excited to get it out there. It is just about ready to go. We expect to release a public beta within the next few days. They will have age perks and iron wolf and beavers and a whole bunch of other fixes and improvements. We think it's in pretty good shape, but we expect we'll be tweaking and tuning things to get it ready for official release later this month. Mm -hmm.